Hello, this is Robbie Myers with Experiment 1.3 from the Module 1, The Basics. Vinegar is a weak acid, a kind of substance we will learn a lot more about when we take chemistry. Toms are antacid tablets designed to neutralize acid. Thus, when Toms are added to vinegar, a chemical reaction occurs. The Toms tablet disappears as it neutralizes the vinegar. While this happens, gas, carbon dioxide, bubbles off. For this experiment, you need vinegar, Tums, or any other antacid tablet, but it must have calcium carbonate as its first ingredient. Um, oh yeah, a measuring cup, three large-ish glasses, and a spoon for stirring. Now, we take the vinegar. We're going to put some in each glass. <clears throat> the first glass is going to have one cup of vinegar, the second glass is going to have one half cup, and the third glass is going to have one fourth cup. <clears throat> now, I'm filling up the measuring cup to um put it in to put vinegar in each glass. So I put the half cup in the first glass. Now I'm going to put the no, I put one cup in the first glass, and now I'm going to put half a cup in the second glass, and now I'm going to put one-fourth of a cup in the third glass. Now, we place a Tums tablet in each glass. Try not to make it splash very hard, because... You don't really want to make a mess. That would be more to clean up. <coughs> Notice that the first glass, the Tums tablet, is bubbling very hard. The second, not as much. It's not bubbling as much as the first glass. The third, even less. That's because the first glass has the most acid to neutralize. <coughs> the second one has less, and the third, even less. See how the third glass is really foggy, and the second gloss, glass is less foggy, and so on. That's because there is less acid in the first glass, so in the third class, so it takes a shorter time to neutralize all the acid in that glass. So now, just sit back and observe the Tums bubbling. Notice now that the third glass is even foggier and isn't bubbling really anymore and the second glass is still bubbling a little bit and it's really foggy and the first glass is still bubbling a lot because it has more acid to neutralize so now that we're done with that part of the experiment we have dumped out the glasses and rinsed them and dried them and put them back on the countertop <coughs> so now we put one cup of vinegar in the first glass, again, as we did before in the first part of the experiment. <sighs> um, there we go, and we put it in. And now I'm going to measure out one half of a cup of vinegar. Again, like I did before. And I am going to put it in without making a mess. Ha 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 ha. There we go. And now I'm going to put one fourth of a cup of vinegar into the third glass. Nothing new here, right? Not quite. We have a little more to do. Mwahaha. Because now we put one cup of water 
into the first glass as well as the vinegar and we put one and a half cups of water in the second glass and one and three fourths of cups of water into the third glass <coughs> as demonstrated here well I've made a mess dumping it into the third glass so I'm gonna have to clean that up and wipe it up a little bit because I don't like big messes and now I'm gonna demonstrate filling up the other two glasses in the next um, scene basically so yeah so now I'm gonna put <coughs> the one and a half cups of water into the second glass and now that I've done that, I'm gonna take the take one and three fourths of water and put it <coughs> into the third glass. You would never have guessed it, would you? Yeah. So now, well, I took a little too much water, and now I dumped a little too much out. I filled it up a little bit too much again. Darn it. Alright, that's good. Now I put it into the third glass. Now each glass should have about two cups of liquid in them. 